between contents, contents row, contents string, contracts extract in Power BI. So let's open the Power BI. So here Power BI desktop that I'm using, and uh, here this is the or uh, record inside uh, the table circular dot address. So here we should uh, create a uh, new column. So let's click on new column and it's working on it uh, and we can apply contents method in any of these columns so here new column it's created now first uh, give the meaningful name so giving add here contents call so this is the column name now here if you write contents so here you can see contents, contents rows, content string and extract. So what the contents method? So return true if uh, there is uh, if there exists at least one row where all columns have a specified. Contents row return true if uh, there is exit at least uh, one row where all columns have a specified. And this is the string return true if the text string contains another text string and it's not case sensitive this is the case sensitive so let's uh, press enter on the contents so here we need to uh, specify the uh, table name thereafter column name and the value so table that I'm using circular dot address so right circular and uh, here after the next is uh, column so which column you are going to use the contents so here I'm going to use the contents on district and the next is value so this is the district column now here you can uh, check with uh, any name so let's uh, write here or uh, type a so on double quote let's write p a i p e i open and close place enter so here this is the blank right now when you give the uh, when you give uh, correct information correct values so it will uh, return true at here so that means on contents circular table and this is here or uh, column and column has uh, type a so type a is there so that it's all returning true suppose if you give uh, uh, something uh, wrong name so type a1 is not exit so then that place that return false so here you can see it's all are returning false and uh, here after if you give anything wrong okay so if you give a uh, wrong table name now if you press so that place that so the error so that means uh, there is uh, something uh, uh, problem with the QD so that it's uh, showing the error now here after let's remove press enter now uh, there is no any error but uh, type a name not uh, in the list so that it will show here at this place the at this place that will return false so it's working on it now here you can see it will return the false so this is about the contain mass contain function so when that found then that return true if not found then that return false now here after the next is so let's uh, uh, remove this one and uh, next uh, I'm going to use contents that done now contents row so here uh, it return true if there is a exit at least one uh, row where all column has specified now here I'm going to use so uh, going to check something like uh, here let's uh, check uh, here b care so it should be in curly braces now here i'm going to check multiple uh, values multiple rows so here let's write b care so this is the string so that we are using double cut now here after comma to check uh, more now here after i'm going to use m e double k a m e double k a now or uh, that too i'm going to check so not to now here after give a space 
and uh, which uh, column you are going to use so here going to use the district so here you can see district it's come on the list now this to exit so when i press enter so there is one problem i missed the curly braces closing curly braces now no. give the curly braces then uh, there is no any problem so when you done anything uh, wrong so here it's it will show here it's showing the error now press enter and uh, there you after you get uh, some uh, here uh, this is the false but here that font be care macro so it's a uh, true it's a uh, display so contains that check so here this is the that check on the column district columns if that is percent so this is the percent so that uh, that place that return true now here after let's use another so here after going to use contain a string so within a string so let's write here adam take adam take and uh, here this is not case sensitive now let's uh, separate and find the string so going to search uh, or take close and uh, here it's uh, showing uh, some kind ok we need to give close that now press enter so here in adam take take is there so it's uh, all returning true and uh, contain a string this is not case sensitive you can write upper lower whatever so let's write take then that again return true so here you can see it uh, again return true now we can apply this uh, on uh, any uh, column so let's use this time address so here going to use the address so this is the within a string so let's write a ad address so this is the table name now here comma and find a string so going to find so within a string so it all this a string that going to check going to check the loop double quote loop press enter so whenever that found uh, in the sentence or uh, loop then that return true so here that return true that means loop contain loop contain here this is uh, loop contain so that it's uh, returning true okay now i want to uh, check uh, like if i give uh, a smaller letter loop so it will again return true when that uh, find the loop so it's uh, not case sensitive so it's uh, returning true at this place now here after uh, let's uh, use another so this is the uh, so this uh, the difference between two is this is the not case sensitive and extract is the case sensitive now here after uh, when i write uh, adam or take and uh, let's uh, use a smaller now press enter definitely that return or false because at this place so uh, this the can set if extract so that here uh, it's uh, returning all false but when you give uh, everything correct then that return true so it's uh, extracting and uh, from adam take uh, sentence take and here it's all returning true now we can apply this on this uh, uh, column so here let's uh, use the column address and uh, comma and uh, again going to check the loop so it uh, starts searching on the address uh, uh, column so here that font the loop so that place it's a uh, returning true returning true when that font uh, loop then that return true and if you give uh, uh, a smaller then definitely that uh, return true sorry false so here you can see this is the loop here this is returning false because this is the case sensitive so this is uh, about the uh, contents contents rows a string and extract in power bi so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you